Welcome back to our series about how to align your enlarger. Today we're looking at the Bessler 23C2. The Bessler 23C Model 2 is a slight improvement over the Model 1, however, the alignment method is exactly the same. So this video will cover both the 23C 2 and 1, since alignment methods are identical. This enlarger is fairly easy to align the negative stage front to back, the negative stage side to side. However, it is not so easy to align the negative stage side to side and the lens stage front to back. So we will have to kind of fudge those movements a little bit to get this thing fully aligned. Aligning the negative stage on this enlarger is fairly straightforward uh, for the front to back motion. It's hinged here at the bracket to tilt backward for horizontal projection. So what we're looking at is this bolt on the back. How far uh, back or in it sets determines um, how much tilt this has. So get a 7 16th wrench and loosen the lock nut. Then you can turn this as needed to tilt in very small increments your front to back motion. Once you have that, uh, tighten that lock nut back up and front to back is taken care of. Now, side to side, there is no built-in adjustment on this model of enlarger. So what we are going to need is some gaffer's tape, black masking tape, black gaffer's tape, black duct tape, whatever you need to use. What we're going to do is essentially take our negative carrier, determine which which way it needs to tilt. Um, does the left need to go up or down? So in this case, with this particular enlarger, the uh, this side is too low, so it needs to come up. So what I'm going to do is take a piece of tape and carefully tape it onto the negative stage here. And see if that offset is enough. Now we need to go a little bit more, so maybe one more additional piece of tape. And you can trim the edge of that if you need to. And there we go. So shimming that tilted the negative carrier just enough for what I need. It was fairly close to begin with. Now it's spot on and I've got my front to back from this bolt here. So we are ready to move on to the lens stage. The lens stage for this model of enlarger is controlled with this knob right here. You loosen it and it allows you to tilt it left and right. There is no front to back tilt motion available on this enlarger. So what we have to do is shim behind this plate that this bolt goes through. So to do that, you need to first remove this. Now this is held on with a small screw uh, behind the plate here. So you can tilt this up if need be and remove this plate. It doesn't come off easy. You can use a flathead screwdriver, which I'm going to do. There we go. And behind that is just a small screw. So I'm just going to remove this. 
And I'm not going to let that screw fall out. No, it's going to anyway. There we go. So, small screw. Don't lose it. We're going to need that again. And then get your shim material. And what I like to use are just flat washers. If this is too thick, you can use some actual shim material. Um, so, you're going to slip it underneath the metal plate. Now, I'm leaving this tilted back a little bit because gravity is going to fight me otherwise. So, just lift it up just a little. Washer in there, center it as best as you can. The screwdriver just kind of push it up. It likes to fight you. There we go. Now, screw back in. Put this back in. And check your progress. If that takes care of it, you're done. It might be hard to get the thickness on this perfect unless you're using shim material in the thousandth of an inch thickness. So you may just have to do this, and it's kind of trial and error. So do this as many times as you need to to build the thickness up. There's a big screw up here that acts as the fulcrum point. So it'll just kind of tilt it uh, on that front to back. Now, if you find that there is no shim material here, but this needs to go further back, there's really nothing you can do at that point uh, with this. What you'll have to do then is shim the lens board, which I'll show you in just a moment. Now let's assume that this, for you, this did it. In which case, side to side motion is controlled just simply with loosening this, tilting it the correct amount, and then tightening back up. If you find that you have no shims behind here, but you still need this portion to tilt downward, then your best bet is to shim the lens board. I'm going to remove that, and depending on uh, the orientation, you need to make sure that you put this in the same way every time. I am going to put the tape on the lens side of the board right on the back edge. So this part is the back, the back side. So it will push as it sits in here. It will push the back of the board up tilting the lens this way. If I don't need the lens to go this direction, if I need it to move the opposite, then shimming here will work just fine. And it's easier to get to. Uh, and it's adjusted for every lens board. In this case, I'll have to do this tape adjustment for every lens board that I have, the same amount of tape in order to get that lens adjusted equally. And that's the Bessler 23C two and one models. So aligning the negative stage, you can go front to back with the screw down here, the little bolt. Side to side, we shimmed where the negative, um, negative carrier sits. The lens stage, side to side, very easy with this screw, but to get front to back, we had to shim behind that screw to create some front to back motion. Other than that, it's fairly straightforward. Uh, It'll probably take you about 15 to 20 minutes, maybe more for the first time you do it. After that, it should be fairly quick. So whichever method you use, once or twice, you'll have it down pretty, pretty easily. Thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll keep making enlarger alignment videos for you.